For those who watched my DIY alignment video for the E39, you saw that I made my own camber gauge and I'm gonna show you guys roughly how I made that today so you can make your own. It's super easy. Everything on here is really cheap. The most expensive thing you're gonna have to buy is a level. So I picked this one up. It's just a regular Husky brand level. So all this is is a piece of aluminum angle iron. So it's just a one inch by one inch angle. And I've got holes drilled in it for different wheel sizes. So the smallest two are 15 inches apart and the widest two are 20 inches apart. And then you can adjust in between them by half inch increments depending on how tall your wheel is. So even though the E39 had 17 inch rims, I put the two bolts 17 and a half inches apart because that's what fit on the face of the wheel cleanly. So I've got a lot of different options. I used nut certs. You can drill and tap this material, but I just thought the nut certs was a little easier. So I just drilled eight holes, of course, measuring before I drilled, put the nut certs in, and then I got two screws that are three inches long, and then I've got a jam nut. So this one on the other end is all the way extended and then tightened down, and then I adjust the one on this end. So the way this works is you're gonna place it against the wheel. So let's assume this is the rim and we have the one on the bottom pressed against the face of the rim and this one on the top. And you're going to adjust them until the bubble level is perfectly level. And when it is, you've essentially made a triangle. So you take the difference between the bottom screw, which is extended all the way out, and the top screw, which is only partially extended, and the difference between those two is the height of your triangle. So you have a height right here in the triangle. The distance between the two is one part of the triangle. It's a 90 degree triangle, so you can calculate this narrow angle down here based off of the length on this side. And that angle is going to give you your camber angle, whether it's positive or negative. If you're a little confused on that, I'm gonna put a diagram that'll just help explain it some more. You can see the triangle here on the screen, which I pulled from an E39 form, is labeled with the tool side and the wheel side. So the distance between that side that is labeled tool side is going to the distance between the two pegs. Then taking the difference between those two pegs when they are adjusted to the wheel, you can find the short side. So if one peg is three inches long and one is two and a half inches long, that short side is gonna be in half inch long. So using those two sides and the fact that it's a 90 degree triangle, you can calculate any other angle. So we're calculating for the small angle down at the tip and that is going to be your camber number, usually somewhere between positive and negative three degrees, depending on the vehicle and application. But as you can see, making this tool is super simple. You're gonna need a tap and die or a nut cert tool, two bolts, two nuts, some angle, a level, and then I just drilled two holes in it and it screwed the level down so that it's always attached. It was extremely easy. It was able to easily check the alignment on all my cars. I can use it forever. There's nothing wrong with it. It's never gonna go bad or out of style. Geometry is always gonna be geometry. So for 20 bucks in materials, you have a camber gauge instead of the $150 camber gauge that you're gonna buy online. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next week.